Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how we have created this office utilization dashboard in Microsoft Excel. This is the ready to use dashboard to measure your office utilization across the year. Here we are showing the total bookings and you can select the year from the slicer. On the left hand side, we have the slicer for the month, year, department, location, space type. So we have selected year, you can select any month also. So we have total booking in this year that is 257 average booking duration in our total available, total occupied and total booked. And this is the utilization rate and here we are showing the uses status distribution that how many occupied, how many available, booked and the under maintenance. Then we are showing the utilization rate by the department and here we are showing the various department you can see. This is the total booking by the location. So we are taking the location here like branch office, client site or head office or regional office. You can take the other locations also. We will show you how you can input your data in this dashboard. Here on the left hand side, we have given the navigation pen. So you can click on the uses space uses analysis to jump to the another page. Let's click here. This is the space uses analysis space. Here we are showing the total bookings by space type. So we can see we have the cabin, conference hall, meeting room, open desk or workstation space type. You can take the other type of space type also. Then here we are showing the total available by space type. Then average booking duration in hour by the space type. This is the utilization rate by the space type. Now. You can see the departmental summary also. So here we are showing the departmental summary or the departmental utilization. We are showing the total bookings by the department and then average booking duration by the department and occupied versus booked by the department. Okay, we can see that comparison here. This is total available by department. You can uh, click anywhere, uh, let's say on the location, then whole dashboard will be filtered or you can select the space type then you can see whole dashboard will be filtered okay so this is totally dynamic now let's go to the location performance and as you click here we are showing the location level performance like branch office client side head office or regional office then we can see the average booking duration here and utilization rate also by location and occupied versus booked by the location and here we are showing the total available by the location and let's go to the time based metrics also we are showing the month on month trend here total booking by the month on month total available by month on month occupied versus booked by the month on month okay and this is the average booking duration by month okay so we have displayed here everything on these all pages now i will show you the data also for this and the support sheet which we have created so let's go to the file and then go to the options and here just go to the advanced just scroll it down and here display option for this workbook just check this show sheet tab just click on ok now we can see the various sheet tabs here okay for each page and this is the data page sheet tab so in the data we have capturing the booking id employee name department location space type booking date and the time start this is the duration usage status like it is booked available or occupied and time and then here we are taking the occupied so these are the basically formula and we are capturing for the calculation the number of occupied total bookings available booked and month and year okay for our slicers as well as for the utilization calculation also now we have created various pivot table to create this dashboard and here we have the overview page first so for the overview we have created these all cards on the top and then we have created the various charts also like battery chart and the other chart and then we are capturing the charts in the space uses analysis the second page so this is uh, these all pivots are for the second page we have put here that title then these pivots for the third page then these all pivots for the fourth page now and similarly for the fifth page so that is how we have created all the pivots then using these pivots we have created these all charts now if i click you can see i'm not able to click on any chart just because this sheet is protected however you can select the 
slicer from here for any slicer you can just click accordingly data will be filtered okay to click on that chart you need to unprotect that just go to the review and just say unprotect seat as you click unprotect the seat will be unprotected without asking any password because we protected this without any password so let's say i protect this i'm not putting any password here and just say okay so the seat will be protected you can just click on the navigation pane or you can click on the slicer only okay so that is how we have created or protected the seats and now i will show you how we have created this type of design as well as how we have created these type of charts so let's say i'm adding a here a new seat and first let's go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here then we can design the uh, this type of design here this is nothing but the simple rectangles so we have just taken the rectangle in the back end from the shape you can just drag the big size of rectangle here pick the yellow handle move to the left hand side like this let us keep this here and you can make this bigger also from the shape format you can take some light color like i have taken this one or more lighter if you want then you can just create this type of rectangles also so let's go to the seat 2 and insert another rectangle and just drag that rectangle here then you can fill the color here let's say i'm taking this dark color this one okay so that is how we have created here also and you can apply some other formatting like you can remove the shape outline no outline if you want to apply some kind of preset you can do that also for example i want to take this one then you can remove this shadow from here shadow and just say no okay or you want to apply any other formatting you can do that then you can put the small rectangles here and the text box so you can just go to the insert and let's take the text box here and drag the text box here like this let's say i'm saying this is overview okay the name of the seat tab then align this center from the home tab and middle now if you want to change the shape style for this you can go to the shapes and here you can take the this shape which is the second one rounded corner rectangle this one then pick this yellow handle move to the right hand side okay so that is how we have created and the small size of the font okay and then you can apply some light color let's say this one and you can apply some preset also like uh, let's say i'm taking preset 5 shape outline just choose no outline or you can take any other preset also we have here a lot of preset let's say i'm taking this one then save shadow let's take no shadow okay then you can make the copy of this and uh, then you can put here the another page name let's say space type utilization this one but this should be the normal one so we will not take any preset here so just take the no preset and here you can take the no fill also okay and uh, shape outline also no outline and make sure the font is white you can make this a small in the size and bold so like this we have created these all and once it is ready you can just put the hyperlink let's say here or here if you want to put the hyperlink press ctrl k then place in this document and you can connect with the overview for example and then if i click it will take me to the overview okay so that is how we have created this then to create this type of cards what we have done you just need to insert another rectangle here the small rectangle let's say this one and uh, let's say i'm taking the white font color and just make this a smaller you can take this outline and the weight as half point okay like this we have created and if you want to give some kind of shadow you can give some shadow also like this and if you want to change the color of the shadow you can change it from the shadow option and from here let's take some kind of this color or you can take lighter color like this okay so it's up to you how you want to create we have created like this then you can insert the text box here just drag the text box here click on the outline of the text box press equal to come to the support seat in the starting we have created few pivot table just to create the card for example total booking so let's click on the header and just hit the enter align this center center and small size make this bold font color let's take this color and press ctrl d to make this duplicate and let's keep this here and we will connect this with the this number and just hit the enter okay now select these two together take the shape fill as no fill shape outline as no outline 
and for this one we can take the font color little darker let's say this one make this bold slightly bigger okay so that is how we have created this type of card all right if you want to change the font you can take here arial rounded empty bold all right so we have created this one now you can create the slicers also so you just need to insert the slicer from the support seat click on any of the pivot insert the slicer from the insert and let's say i want to take the slicer for a space type for example let's cut this slicer and just paste this here now if you click on any value of this slicer you can see the value of the total booking is getting changed so that is how we have made it dynamic now if you want to learn more about this dashboard like how we have created the custom slicer custom charts then you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video description box in our course we have explained each and everything like how to create a battery chart using the pivot table how to create this type of 3d glass chart and the how we can use the pictures inside the chart everything we have explained with detail and we have explained how you can create the beautiful dashboard using the pivot table and the charts we have given the practice file with each topic so that you can practice with me inside the course all right friends so you can join our course i have given the link in the video description box and if you join that course using that link then you will get the discount on that all right friends so that's it in this video friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching